I'm David Tolman, author of NootropicsExpert.com, and in this video, I'm going to do a review about a new multivitamin called Performance Lab Whole Food Multi. What it is, why I use it, a little bit about the company who makes it, and why you may want to consider trying it for yourself if you're looking for a multivitamin that will actually make a difference in how you feel. Now, I've had Nootropics Expert readers asking me what my preferred multivitamin or mineral supplement is and what I use every day. So this video is a detailed response to that question. This Performance Lab Whole Food Multi is by far the best multivitamin and mineral supplement that I've ever used. And I've tried several different brands of multivitamins over the last 10 years including a couple of the well-known raw and whole food multivitamins available at the local vitamin shop, Whole Foods, and online. But the question I often see goes something like this. Is a multivitamin necessary? Even if you're living a much healthier lifestyle like I have been since I was diagnosed adult ADD 10 years ago, and even more so since turning hypothyroid about five years ago, so you might even be able to identify with this. You eat your vegetables, you don't smoke, you drink very little, you avoid junk food, you exercise every day. Does that look like the picture of health that really needs to take vitamins? And unfortunately the answer is yes, and here's why. A recent study published by the Mayo Clinic showed that less than 3% of Americans meet the basic qualifications for a healthy lifestyle. Now, assuming that you're one of those 3%, another study shows that only 33% 30, um, of adults eat enough fruit and only 27% get enough of the recommended servings of vegetables. Are you with me so far? The thing is, even if you meet the recommended daily intake for, for servings of fruit and vegetables, it's impossible to get the nutrients your body and brain need for optimal health. Our fruit, vegetable, and meat products simply do not have enough vitamins and minerals to naturally support a healthy body. They're grown on depleted soil, and most have been genetically modified to grow faster, and GMO produce grows so fast it hasn't got the time to draw enough nutrients from the nutrient-starved soil that it's grown on. And then the nutrients that do make it into our food are lost during transport, storage, processing, and cooking. Even young people with a higher metabolism and a higher food consumption than the average 50 to 70 year old, only 1% are getting the nutrients that they need. And did you know that you would need to eat 26 of today's apples to get the nutrition you'd get from one apple grown in 1914? So what do you do? The obvious and simple answer is to give your body what it has been deprived of by using a multivitamin and mineral supplement. But not all multivitamin supplements are created equal. In fact, most of what you'll find on supermarket, drugstore, and even vitamin shop shelves, they're useless. And some are actually toxic and dangerous to use. So in this video, I'm going to share the criteria I use to select a multivitamin, the supplement that I prefer and use every day, the ingredients needed for optimal health, how they work together, the cost, and where you can get it. One of the things people do when they first becoming health conscious is they start using a daily multivitamin. And if you're anything like me when I was first getting started, you look on in confusion at the shelf after shelf of hundreds of multivitamin supplements to choose from. And the in, your instinct is to grab the first multivitamin you recognize from those slick commercials on TV. You take the multi for a, a month and you don't feel anything. No better than you did before. So what's going on? Well, first, we need to take a close look at the label. A multivitamin bottle label will tell us all we need to know and if you know how to read it and understand what's in the bottle. What I've learned since my first multivitamin purchase is most of them should have a black box warning label, the kind the FDA mandates that pharmaceutical companies put on some of their drugs. Now here's a quick summary of what I look for and what I avoid. 
near the bottom of the ingredients label. If you see FD&C blue number one, FD&C green number three, FD&C red number 40, or any of their variants, put the bottle back on the shelf. These abbreviations represent food dyes made from petroleum and have been used in food and supplements for decades. But why would you need artificial colors in your multivitamin? Recent studies link food coloring to hyperactivity in kids, and European lawmakers now require a warning label on foods that contain artificial dyes. Now another one that you'll see is hydrogenated fats like soybean oil. They use it as a filler to, bu to bulk up the tablet or the capsule. Now the 2010 Dietary Guidelines for American States, and I quote, keep trans fatty acid consumption low as possible by limiting foods that contain synthetic sources of trans fats such as partially hydrogenated oils and by limiting other solid fats. Yum! That's exactly what you don't want in your multivitamin. The next thing to look for is talc or magnesium silicate. Talc is a mineral composed of magnesium silicate, silicon, oxygen, and hydrogen, and it's used as an anti-caking agent and cheap filler in multivitamins. And talc has been linked to ovarian cancer in women. Titanium dioxide is another one to avoid. It's used as a colorant in supplements. And it comes with a host of health implications, including DNA damage. So if you want to learn more about what to avoid and what to look for, I go into nitty gritty detail in a post that I wrote over on Nootropics Expert called How to Select the Best Multivitamin for Brain Function. Check it out. It's under the blog section on nootropicsexpert.com, How to Select the Best Multivitamin for Brain Function, or I'll include a link below this video that you can just click on. Now this category covers a whole host of problems with most multivitamin supplements. Our bodies were designed to get vitamins and minerals from food. But most multivitamin supplements on the market today are synthetic. Vitamins created using coal tar derivatives and minerals using ground up rock. Now I found one of the quickest and simplest ways to assess a multivitamin for quality and food base is look at the label and, and scroll down to the B vitamins. And if they use folic acid for vitamin B9 and cyanocobalamin for vitamin B12, neither one of those is food-based. If either one is on the label, the entire bottle must be avoided because the rest of the bottle is unlikely to be a quality food-based vitamin complex. So if you want to learn more about on avoiding USP vitamins, pharmaceutical grade and natural in your vault multivitamin, see my post over on NootropicsExpert.com. One of the things that really irks me is manufacturers who use a proprietary formula in their supplement. Proprietary formulas hide how much of an ingredient is in the bottle, which is a problem because I want to know exactly how much of each ingredient I'm getting in a tablet or capsule. I need to know if I need to add a little bit extra of one vitamin or mineral based on my unique body chemistry and health issues. And proprietary formulas also are a sneaky way of including what I call fairy dusting of an ingredient. An amount so small that it only looks good on the label and does nothing for optimizing your health. Now that we've established what, we, uh, what to avoid in multivitamin supplements, what's left? Well, it turns out that there are very few raw food and whole food supplement makers who produce a high quality multivitamin. I've tried some of them and they're good. These whole food multivitamins contain the right form and dose of each vitamin mineral but every single one that I've either used or checked add unnecessary ingredients. And oftentimes it's something like a blend of organic food powders to make it look more like a whole food multi. 
which are useless. They're just there for filler and to look good. Or a little CoQ10 in a form which my body can't use. Or a proteolytic blend of enzymes that is supposed to help clear fibrin, but instead, if I take it with a meal, it digests my food. All I want is a simple, pure, whole food multivitamin that supplies only the vitamins and minerals my body and brain need every day. And there is only one company on the entire planet that produces a simple, pure multivitamin. Performance Lab is a new line of supplements made by OptiNutra Advanced Nutraceuticals, and they're the same people who make my favorite nootropic stack, MindLab Pro. The Performance Lab Whole Food Multivitamin is the foundation of their supplement line. Performance Lab uses nature-identical vitamins and minerals, which include their natural cofactors to ensure their bioavailability and that your body can use them. Now, unlike isolated vitamins and minerals found in most other multivitamins, these nutrients go straight into your cells and tissues where they're needed. And the company also uses their own proprietary biogenesis method to grow whole food-based nutrients avoiding genetically modified organisms or GMOs, pesticides, herbicides, and other toxins. The only ingredients in this Performance Lab multivitamin are the vitamins and minerals listed on the label in their purest bioidentical form, in dosages that are designed to support and enhance a healthy body and brain. The company uses plant caps, vacant capsules which are made from tapioca instead of a semi-synthetic polymer which are found in other vegetarian capsules. And they infuse their capsules with a prebiotic for better digestion and to boost the bioavailability of the nutrients that are in this multi. The Performance Lab multi is available for men and there's one for women with only slight differences in their formulas. The women's multi contains iron, and double the amount of vitamin B9 or folate compared to the men's formula, which has a little bit more boron and zinc. In the main transcript for this video, I've got the full list of what's on the label for the Performance Lab Whole Food Multi, both for men and women. I'm not gonna go into detail here because it's just gonna make this video too long. But for example, vitamin A, is required for long-term potentiation, memory, vision, skin, your immune system, protein synthesis, tissue repair, and bones, and it's an antioxidant. Vitamin C, vitamin D, I've got the list of all of the vitamins and minerals and exactly what they do in your body and brain in the original transcript for this video, so check it out. In a perfect world, you get all the nutrients your body and brain need from the food you eat every day. But we don't, and for reasons that we talked about earlier in this video. So we try to make up for this deficiency with a multivitamin supplement. Now the problem is most minerals and vitamins used in multivitamin supplement formulas do not contain protein chaperones or other cofactors needed for absorption into your cells. The form of the vitamins and minerals that you get from real food. Most other supplement companies, with very few exceptions, use what's called isolated minerals and vitamins made from petroleum derivatives. They're forms of nutrients your body does not recognize as nutrients. Your body either expels them as unwanted toxins or these imposters are attached to, they attach to receptors that are required by the genuine, the real vitamins and minerals in various actions in your body. The result is expensive urine, ending, sending these aliens down the drain. And some even cause real damage and long-term health issues. Using biogenesis to produce vitamins and minerals avoids this toxicity and, and provides the nutrients in the same form as you'd normally get from, from food. The amount of each ingredient listed on the label is for Performance Labs recommended four capsules per day. I recommend using two capsules in the morning and two capsules um, midday. Now some of the ingredients in this multivitamin are fat soluble, so take each two capsule dose with a meal containing healthy fats 
or like I do, a tablespoon of unrefined coconut oil or MCT oil. You can safely use up to six capsules a day, but you don't want to use any more than that. While biogenesis nutrients are highly bioavailable and non-toxic, some nutrients like vitamin A and vitamin E are stored in fat in your body and not expelled in urine, like water-soluble nutrients. So if you dose more than your body can use every day, it could cause an unnatural buildup of these vitamins and minerals eventually leading to possible toxic overload and health problems. Check the label of Performance Labs Multi and you may notice some nutrients are dosed lower than some other brands of multivitamins. You'll also notice that some nutrients are dosed at exactly the recommended daily intake, but some a little higher or a little lower than the RDI. OptiNutra calculated these dosages based on synergy and how each nutrient supports and works with others in this formula. Performance lab ingredients work in harmony with each other and with your body's ability to naturally produce certain proteins, enzymes, amino acids, hormones, and neurotransmitters. The intent is not to upset the balance and artificially boost specific areas of your body with this multivitamin. Rather, the intent is to ensure your body and brain get optimal amounts of each vitamin and mineral it requires to thrive every day. I love this multivitamin. Two capsules in the morning with a tablespoon of unrefined coconut oil along with the rest of my nootropic stack and it launches my day. I take another two capsules at noon with unrefined coconut oil and my nootropic stack and I'm productive for the rest of the day. I've noticed a difference since I replaced my previous multivitamin with the Performance Lab Multi for men. It feels cleaner, productivity is enhanced a little more, mood is slightly better, and I sleep better. One of the things I've learned over the years of working with nootropics is it's not cheap. In fact, taking each nootropic vitamin and mineral on its own, in my case, can add up to hundreds of dollars a month. But I'm okay with this investment in my health because it's completely changed my life for the better. In this case, I know my body and brain demand a multivitamin and mineral supplement every day. I've searched long and hard for the best multivitamin I could find based on what I've learned over the last few years. Now, it's no surprise that the highest quality supplements are more expensive. But I've also found that when compared to buying many of these ingredients as separate supplements, it turns out to be a whole lot less. In my case, I'm no longer using a separate B-complex supplement or a separate zinc or selenium supplement. This Performance Lab Whole Food Multi for Men is a little bit more than my previous Whole Food Multivitamin supplement, but I've cut out three other separate supplements in my stack. So it comes out to about the same investment in my health. The Performance Lab Whole Food Multi for men or women is only $40 a month for a one month supply. They offer you a 5% discount if you get two boxes and a 10% discount if you get three boxes. So my nootropics expert recommendation is I highly recommend the Performance Lab Whole Food Multi for men and for women to support basically all of your biohacking and brain optimization goals. And that's my review on the Performance Lab Whole Food Multi. If you want to see links to the other posts that I talked about referring to this review, go to Nootropics Expert and search for Performance Lab Whole Food Multi or click on the link below this video. There you'll find a full transcript of this video and you'll see all of the details for the individual vitamins and minerals that I mentioned a little bit earlier. You'll also find dozens of articles and all the well-known nootropics on Nootropics Expert. If you have any questions or you want to share your experience using multivitamins, please use the comment section at the bottom of the post on NootropicsExpert.com. I respond to comments and questions at Nootropics Expert usually the same day. If you want to see more videos and all the best nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman author of Nootropics Expert.